Brendan Crew here with CCTV here at Concord Art, talking to Henry um, about the new show. Uh, Henry, I hear you're the curator for this show currently. Um, tell us what the show is. Well, Concord Art was established back uh, in the early 1920s uh, as a place where local artists could exhibit their work uh, on a periodic basis. It was founded actually by an artist named Elizabeth Wentworth Roberts, okay. who was originally from Philadelphia but settled in this area after she trained in Paris. And under her aegis, the um, Concord Art Association was formally founded. Really? And in 19, actually founded formally in 1922. But in the few preceding years before that, she organized ex exhibitions of art in Concord just to give exposure for a number of artists. Concord artists, many yeah. of whom were already pretty well known in the local area. Mm -hmm. And in 1922, um, she actually raised the funds to buy this house, the Ball House here really? on Lexington Road. Yeah. She renovated it for exhibition space and meeting space and That's studios great. and such, and we've been here ever since. Well, it's a terrific space. Absolutely amazing location as well. So tell us about the show right now. It's well, currently Concord, going. Over the years, Concord Art accumulated a number of works by many, in fact, pretty well-known artists. They had, years ago, they had a Copley, a sergeant, many internationally famous artists, as well as representative works by their local artist mm -hmm. members. But as the years went on, they reoriented the collection toward more of a local presence. Right. They needed the money for various purposes, like maintaining this yeah. house and things, so they sold some of the better known earlier works. This mm -hmm. was in the 60s and 70s. So now we have a collection by, uh, it contains representative works by some of the better known artists from this region in particular. That's true. Starting and commencing with Elizabeth Roberts, who founded it in the first place. And that's what we have here, correct? And this room we have almost everything here is, is by her. Wow. She was very versatile, worked in many media. She spent a lot of time besides here in the Concord area. And in the summer, she spent summer times in Anasquam on the North Shore. And a number of harbor and beach scenes up there, such as, uh, this is very typical of one of her beach scenes. On yeah. the, it could well be Cranes Beach or Plum Island, right, one of the yeah. local beaches. She was basically an impressionist, but had a rather modernist approach to things. Mm -hmm typical here with this uh, with these very small figures sort of engulfed by the big That's landscape great. around and sandbars and things Absolutely. Uh, emphasizing the sort of layout of the beach mm, as much as the actual figures the work she did for world war 1 in during world war 1 a group of women got together to uh, sew clothing for right. refugees from World War I in Belgium. So we have a number of the, we have two here, there's another over, over at First Parish and, really? and a number of these in Concord. There's the women sewing the garments That's to, uh, and so they would make these garments, sell them, the proceeds for the sale of the garments, in, in the end they used to buy an ambulance really? for the wow. allies in World War I when That's we incredible. joined it. So she was in the, involved in the community in all kinds of Deep, ways. Yeah, deeply rooted. Okay, now I'm here with Charity. Charity, can you uh, describe your relationship with Concord Art? Sure, I've been a board member for about four years, and um, I am the head of the event committee at the moment. So the person, the, our committee was responsible for putting this show together. And tell me uh, a little bit about the show and its name. <laughs> we call it Concord Art in Bloom, sort of a play off the Boston MFA's Art in Bloom. And we, have about 13 arrangements by floral decorators, designers in the greater Boston area. And we had asked them, selected those designers to provide or create floral arrangements like this in response to one of the paintings in our Henry's Picks curation. So talk to me a little bit about Henry's Picks. Henry Coitman, who you met earlier, is a board member as well and he his he is responsible for maintaining and overseeing our permanent collection of paintings, which I think the dates range from somewhere in the mid-1800s to into the 19th and probably the 20th century. And Henry spent some time with those paintings and personally selected the ones he thought were representative of our history and would showcase well to uh, the community. So we've got paintings from our founder, Elizabeth Wentworth Roberts, who I think you probably heard about, mm -hmm. and then some of her, her peers, for instance, Laura Coombs 
Queens Hill, mm -hmm. who was well known for her miniature work, miniatures on ivory and her pastels of flowers, several of which I think are in the MFA collection, but we have some here too, which are on our walls today for people to see. So what is Spring Into Art Week? Spring Into Art was a, is an original new idea for Concord Art, and our motivation was to bring the community into the organization and be able to share our art through this collection, to share our art through what's happening in our great big art sale, which are five by seven paintings from anyone who wanted to donate paintings. We have about 500 that'll be sold on Saturday. And um, we, it's a series of events, Spring Into Art. We had a make it, take it night on Tuesday night where people were invited to come in and I think we were making collages and serving wine and cheese and everyone enjoyed that. And then Wednesday night we had story night with eight different storytellers and that, right. was, that was fantastic. Fun to um, listen to, interesting to see. The topic was inspiration, which of course ties into art. Mm -hmm. And then last night we had our reception for our Art and Bloom program. So it's been a collection of events all sharing our talent and zest for art with the community. So tell us a little bit about the people that put these arrangements together. Working with flowers is an art in itself and I always have thought I, I like to arrange things myself and I've been a garden club member but the folks that did this they were all women actually these arrangements are all artists in their own way mm -hmm. and they treat floral arrangements much like a painter would treat a canvas there's a balance of texture structure color space and each of these women, some of them are very experienced in what they do and have come from, as I think I said, all over the Boston area. But they pick out their floral materials carefully. And then I think in most cases here with the paintings that the floral designer has tried to echo the painting itself. Right. Sometimes a floral designer in a show like this might just respond emotionally to the painting. Mm -hmm. But in this case, mostly I think we've, we've actually sort of echoed in some cases the water, in some cases the hats, in some cases the, the person um, with the floral material. Absolutely, and even you know with the driftwood here that could be seen on the beach. Yeah, it picks up the kind of sand Absolutely, behind it, yeah. and the blue picks up the water. So I understand there's a big fundraiser on Saturday. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, the great big small art sale. This will be our second annual one. Last year was such a success, and it is we sell all the paintings that have been donated to us over the past couple of months since we asked artists to to consider painting for us. All five by seven inch works of various mediums, paint, watercolor, photography, and they're all hanging up in our upstairs gallery. And last year we raised about $10,000 from the sale. So it was a significant portion of our fundraising. We were very grateful. And I think the community really appreciated being able to own original art for not that much of an investment. Great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. This is a terrific show, and there's more on the horizon, I'm sure, right? Over the yeah, summer. Oh, definitely. We've got some exciting things planned. Great. So a tremendous show here at Concord Art. Come by if you can. It's only up for a short while. But if you can't, be sure to check out their website if you'd like. Lots going on during the summer. For CCTV, I'm Brennan Crew, signing off.